Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. This video is a little unusual in two respects. First of all, it is sponsored by Redivis, who is a Chinese uh, maker of ham radio and other equipment. Second, the video is actually about GMRS, or the General Mobile Radio Service. It turns out that Redivis has a repeater that they have just developed that can be used on GMRS, and yes, that's legal. And the problem they're running into is they're trying very, very hard to get the thing ready and shipped prior to the tariffs uh, kicking in uh, a little bit after May 1st. So they've asked me to do this video about this GMRS repeater, and uh, it's kind of interesting. I've been looking at GMRS myself. I actually paid the $35 on the FCC website to get myself a license. And the GMRS is often used by uh, like hunters and other people who want an actual real radio as opposed to family radio service radio uh, that they can use like while hunting, hiking, uh, doing things outdoors. Uh, also, they can be used as part of performing public service for like parades or events or something like that. Now, the GMRS frequencies uh, do not overlap the ham radio frequencies. Ham radio requires a license, as you all well know. Uh, and it can do many, many more things than GMRS, which I think is limited to about 20 channels. Uh, but one thing that is allowed in GMRS are repeaters. And that is the thing I'm going to talk about today. So remember, this is a sponsored video. It's about a radio service that's kind of adjacent to, and I imagine there are a lot of you out there who are also GMRS users for the simple reason that it can be used not only by you, but all members of your family. Same call sign. So let's take a look at the charts. As I mentioned, this video is sponsored by Redivis. It's really rare that I do a sponsored video. Redivis is a Chinese radio equipment company. They also make uh, ham radio equipment. And their problem is the tariffs are coming. They were hoping to have this repeater ready and available prior to the start of the tariffs. Uh, but what they're trying to do now is sell some prior to the tariffs so that they can get those out at the old price. Now, I would point out that tariffs are going to be bad news for hams in general because almost all of our equipment is made in either Japan or China. So, uh, including the Japanese equipment like Icom Yesu and so on, those are made in Japan. A lot of pieces of them are made in China. So, uh, they're coming and the full extent of the tariffs on ham radio is not yet known. Redifus wants to sell as many of these GMRS repeaters as it can prior to May 2nd. Now, in the text below the video, there's a link and a discount code that you can use if you'd like to take advantage of this. So what is GMRS? It's the General Mobile Radio Service, and it's a Section 95, Part E. Uh, in other words, from paragraph 95.1071 and those uh, paragraphs following. The license costs $35. It used to be $50. The, there's no testing required. The license is good for the immediate family. It uses UHF spectrum above the ham radio 70 centimeter band. It is channelized. It overlaps and interoperates with the family radio service, which are these little tiny little things. And something that's very interesting, repeaters are allowed. Like if you're going hiking, you could leave a repeater at the car. Uh, and then if your kids want to go one way and, you know, so on, another group wants to go another way, you can stay in touch that way. Very good way to do it. This is what they're trying to sell. This is an RT97L a uh, GMRS repeater completely self-contained. Obviously, it doesn't have the antenna in it. It's um, high power, which means 25 watts. IP66 waterproof, which means, you know, a few raindrops here and there. Long-range base station, meaning you, you're going to want to put up an antenna for this. 
Uh, you can use a Raspberry Pi to controller it. They mentioned farming as one of the uses, remote areas, home use, and so on. It's $529 today. Now, today is April 18th. So there's a few days left. If you're interested in ordering this, I know it's not ham radio, but if you're already into uh, GMRS, this might be something of interest to you. Here's a look at the repeater itself. It's uh, definitely mobile. It's got a small screen to tell you what uh, uh, it's received and transmitted. It follows the same frequency split as our 70 centimeter band or 440 in that the uh, frequencies are five megahertz apart. That makes them a lot easier to deal with than the two meter repeaters. Now, just to give you a little idea, and again, I'm only using material that they've supplied because they don't have these units yet. They will. You can buy them early at the pre-tariff price and then uh, get them uh, once the tariff goes into effect. It's pretty steep, as you know. Uh, you can connect a Raspberry Pi or a computer uh, to extend the functions for this thing, including uh, Wi-Fi compatibility and so on. Now, it is small. You can see the thing right here. It's eight pounds, not too heavy at all. Uh, it has an LCD screen that can give you all the different menu items and everything that you want. And here are some of the use cases, outdoor exploring, somebody doing farming and want to talk back to the farmhouse. Uh, GMRS is great because you don't have to pass a test. You just uh, pay for your license and it's sent to you. And it is good for family members too. They talk about it for disaster uh, recovery, uh, for production facilities and so on. The IP66 waterproof means suitable for use in dusty environments like construction sites and warehouses and outdoor settings with rain or humidity. Note that this is parked up under an eave here. It does not really like to get uh, rain directly on it. This obviously is not a connected repeater uh, because it's got no antenna, no nothing, no power anywhere in it. 25 watts is what they call high power, and actually, if you deal in repeaters, you know that uh, this is fairly high power for a repeater. Uh, I should say fairly normal power for a repeater. It's compatible with a hand microphone that you can plug in if you want. Notice that Islands is Redivis's uh, brand name for some of its ham radio equipment. These are some of the things that come with the package. You've got this, a charger, uh, power supply, uh, car charging cable, cables for uh, end and USB here, brackets, things like this in the user's manual. So there you have it. This is just a very brief look at this piece of equipment that uh, Redivis has made available uh, to us for a discount. If you go to the video area just below, you know like where the subscribe button are and things like that. There will be a link that you can go to to see the radio. Uh, it's direct to Redivis itself. And if you pay today's price, you'll be able to get one when they do come out. They are still working on a few things. They've got some bugs they need to work out. They sent me a list. It's real. Um, this thing should be coming out in May or June, but they'll keep track of them. If you use the discount code, that will help also, I will point out that if you do purchase this uh, through the link and the discount code, I will get a little bit to help with channel funds uh, from each of those purchases. If you're only interested in ham radio and not GMRS, then this is not for you. I thank you for the time you took to listen. And until we next meet, 73.